Hey there, fellow history buffs and curious travelers! Welcome back to our channel! Today, we've got something epic in store for you! We're taking a deep dive into one of the most iconic and awe-inspiring ancient wonders of the world, the Colosseum in the heart of Rome. So, get ready to step back in time with us as we explore the incredible history, jaw-dropping design, and captivating stories. Without further ado, let's get started! All right, history enthusiasts, prepare to embark on a journey back in time as we unravel the fascinating tale of the Colosseum, a true masterpiece of the ancient world. It's like stepping into a time machine back to the days of the Flavian dynasty, somewhere between 70 and 80 AD. Emperor Vespasian, the big boss of Rome, has this grand vision. He says, I want an arena like no other. So he commissioned the construction of the Colosseum, initially known as the Flavian Amphitheater, to honor his dynasty. Now, here's the real kicker. This place wasn't just a venue, it was the entertainment hub of the ancient world. Imagine it hosting legendary gladiator showdowns, heart-pounding animal hunts, and even dramatic mock sea battles. And it didn't skimp on the seating either. This colossal beast could hold up to 80,000 spectators. That's like a whole city in one place. Now, you might wonder, what was it made of? Well, concrete and sand did the heavy lifting, but they didn't stop there. The Colosseum flaunted a facade that would make even today's architects jealous. Gorgeous travertine limestone. And it wasn't just a pretty face, it had brains too. A complex system of arches and tunnels ran underneath, making it a true engineering marvel. Let's talk about where this legendary Colosseum is located. It's in the heart of Rome, Italy a city steeped in history, art, and culture. And right smack in the center of it all is where you'll find the iconic Colosseum. No need for a treasury map, it's right there in the archaeological wonderland of Rome. It stands proudly in an area known as the Roman Forum, which was essentially the city center in ancient times. The Colosseum's location isn't just about convenience, it's like a symbol of Rome's grandeur and prominence in the ancient world. If you've ever wandered around the charming streets of Rome, you'll know that the Colosseum isn't shy about showing itself off. It's this colossal, awe-inspiring structure that you can spot from quite a distance. So. It's not just about visiting the Colosseum, it's about immersing yourself in the rich history and vibes of the eternal city itself. Now, the Colosseum isn't just a standalone marvel, it's part of a whole historical neighborhood. Right nearby, you've got the Roman Forum, which was like the political, social, and religious hub of ancient Rome. You've also got the Palatine Hill, where emperors used to live in their fancy palaces. Let's chat about the design and architecture of the Colosseum, because folks, it's not just a pretty face, it's a marvel of ancient engineering and innovation. First things first, imagine this colossal structure standing right in front of you. It's like a time machine transporting you back to ancient Rome. The Colosseum's designers knew how to make a statement, and they did it with an elliptical shape that was unlike anything else in their time. Now, if you were to measure its perimeter, you'd be looking at a jaw-dropping 545 meters. That's about 1,788 feet, or for some perspective, almost two American football fields laid end to end. Yeah, it's that massive. And it doesn't stop there. 
The Colosseum isn't just wide, it's tall too. Picture it reaching up to 48 meters, which is roughly 157 feet. To put that in perspective, that's about as tall as a 15-story building. But let's talk materials, shall we? They didn't just slap some bricks together. They used concrete and sand for the core structure. But here's where the real beauty comes in. That stunning facade, they covered it with travertine limestone. A type of rock that's not just durable, but oh so pretty to look at. Now, picture this. You're inside the Colosseum, and you've got a great seat for the action. But underneath you, there's a whole maze of arches and tunnels. You see, these clever Romans had a knack for building things that were not only grand, but functional. These arches and tunnels served as a backstage area of sorts, housing everything from gladiators and wild animals to props and equipment for the shows. It was like an ancient version of a theater's green room, just a tad more dramatic. The Colosseum's design and architecture are a testament to the genius of ancient Roman engineering. It's not just a pretty face, it's a breathtaking blend of style and substance that continues to captivate us to this day. All right, let's dive into some of the standout moments in the history of the Colosseum, because trust me, this place has seen its fair share of jaw-dropping events. First up, picture yourself in the stands, the sun shining down, and a roar of anticipation in the air. What's about to happen? Gladiator contests, my friends! The Colosseum was the ultimate battleground, where trained fighters faced off in epic duels that had the entire crowd on the edge of their seats. These battles were not just about physical strength, but also about strategy, skill, and, well, staying alive. But wait, there's more! It wasn't just about humans fighting humans. They spiced things up with wild animals too. Imagine lions, tigers, and even elephants being unleashed into the arena to face brave or maybe crazy gladiators. It was like a real-life version of your favorite action movie. Now, let's talk about those animal hunts. The Colosseum hosted some truly exotic and heart-pounding hunts, where hunters squared off against ferocious beasts from all corners of the ancient world. Lions, leopards, bears, you name it, they probably had it. It was a spectacle that left audiences in awe of both the hunters' bravery and the sheer power of these creatures. But it wasn't all blood and guts in the Colosseum. They even staged mock sea battles right there in the arena. Yep, you heard that right. They'd flood the Colosseum's floor, bring in full-sized ships, and reenact epic naval battles. Talk about taking dinner and a show to a whole new level. And let's not forget the grand opening. When the Colosseum was inaugurated in 80 AD, they went all out with 100 days of games. Thousands of animals were slaughtered, and the opening event was said to be an awe-inspiring spectacle. It was like the Super Bowl halftime show, but on steroids. Now, let's talk about the preservation of the Colosseum. First off, you've got to hand it to Mother Nature. Rome's dry climate has played a huge role in the Colosseum's preservation. Rain, the mortal enemy of many ancient structures, is pretty rare here. So that's a win right there. But that's not all. The Colosseum has had its fair share of help from us humans. Over the centuries, various restoration efforts have been undertaken to keep it in tip-top shape. Even back in ancient times, they were doing repairs. The Romans were all about maintaining their iconic structures. 
In the Middle Ages, when the Colosseum had lost some of its luster and was being used as a fortress, parts of it were repaired. During the Renaissance, it became a source of inspiration for artists and architects who recognized its grandeur. But perhaps one of the most significant preservation efforts happened in the 19th and 20th centuries. A lot of work went into cleaning up and stabilizing the Colosseum. This wasn't just a case of slapping on some paint. It was a meticulous process that aimed to restore its former glory. Today, the Colosseum stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And that means serious business when it comes to preservation. There is a dedicated team of experts who monitor its condition, and there are ongoing efforts to ensure it remains a symbol of ancient Rome for generations to come. And here's a cool tidbit. Did you know they've also restored the Colosseum's floor, allowing visitors to see the underground chambers and passageways where gladiators and animals waited for their moment in the spotlight? It's like stepping into history. Let's delve into the symbolism of the Colosseum, because this iconic structure isn't just a pile of ancient bricks. It's a powerful symbol that speaks volumes about the ancient Roman world. It wasn't just about flexing their construction muscles. The Colosseum had deeper meanings. It was a reflection of the Roman obsession with entertainment and spectacle. It was where the masses could gather and witness larger-than-life events, from gladiator battles to animal hunts. It also symbolized the power and authority of the emperors. You see, the construction of the Colosseum was largely financed by plundered wealth from the Jewish temple during the Jewish revolt. The Colosseum's shape with its towering arches and circular design is often seen as a symbol of unity and inclusivity. It didn't matter if you were a senator or a commoner, everyone could enter and be part of the spectacle. It was like a great equalizer, at least in the realm of entertainment. Today, the Colosseum stands as a symbol of Rome's enduring legacy. It's not just a relic of the past, it's a reminder of the city's rich history and its contributions to art, culture, and architecture. It's a place where the ancient world meets the modern and where millions of visitors from around the globe come to connect with the past. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through time and explored the incredible world of the Colosseum right here. From its awe-inspiring architecture to its captivating history and symbolism, the Colosseum is truly a treasure trove of stories. So, until our next exploration, keep your curiosity alive, keep discovering, and keep traveling. Thanks for joining us here on Geography Hub.